You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the, uh, the Boxy 100 by Uni. This is a very interesting pen, and one that I actually just gave one, uh, gave a version of this to, uh, my aunt for Christmas as part of, uh, one of her stationary gifts. Because this little pen is squared off on the sides, that's the boxy part, and then kind of round across the middle. You have this nice bit of texture down here to hold on to with your fingers, and also when you drop this on the desk, it'll stop. Also, if you just, like, set it down, it's not going anywhere, it just stops on that flat side either of those flat sides, which is pretty great. The other thing that it has is a very interesting mechanism, which is this side click. So you push down here to, uh, uh, to, to expose the point, and then you push this little orange switch, pop, to pull it back in. So instead of having a click pin where you just click this over and over again, it's got this side click, which is a really interesting mechanism. It's very fidgety. I like it. Uh, so this comes with uh, the ability to house a whole bunch of different refills. This, I just looked it up and it's it's listed as a 0.7 millimeter. This is definitely the finest 0.7 millimeter I've ever used. I actually thought they had put one of the 0.4s in here or something until I opened it up to look at the, the refill. Let's go ahead and look at that refill. It's not the super, it's not the easiest thing to get out, uh, but I have figured it out. I use tweezers because uh, it's kind of, it's pointy right here. So what you wanna do is you press down on this little orange button right here and just kind of slide this carrier out. Now this is spring-loaded right here, so don't, don't just pull it out because this little orange piece will fly away. Also notice the orientation or you won't be able to put it back in. There's this like little plastic bar right here. There's not one on the other side, so make sure you have the bar side up and then this is how it goes in. But this is, this is the mechanism of this pen, which is, that's pretty cool. Like, that's it. There's a little spring in the bottom, of course, where the refill is, but that's it for a mechanism. And then this is the refill. This is the uh, the Uni S7S, which is, uh, man, I am surprised that this is a 0.7. Like, this is a very fine one. We'll see that in the writing sample, but it's also a very small refill. And you can see I haven't used a whole lot of it just because this tip is so fine uh, that it will take forever to go through one of these, I think, for me. Uh, to reassemble it, you just drop this back in there. And then you take this, make sure you have the orientation right with this little bar right here, this little carrier like this, and you just kind of slide it back in, give this a little press to make it go through, and then pop, we're back together. So no big deal, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so let's see how this, uh, how this writes. The answer is that it writes pretty okay. This is the uh, Uni Boxy 100. Uh, 0.7 millimeter ballpoint. I do kind of wish they had put a jet stream refill in here because they do make jet stream refills that I think that are about that size. And the jet stream, of course, is the, the king of ballpoints as far as I'm concerned. These are pretty inexpensive at $1.75 uh, a piece. And you can get all kinds of refills for this in all kinds of different colors. I think they're like green and black and, of course, blue and probably some other things. Those are the ones I know off the top of my head. And you can find those refills listed on the JetPens page. And uh, pretty, pretty good. All right. So thank you very much for watching this. Oh, I should show you the totally normal size. <laughs> go back to, there we go. Totally normal size pen. Uh, you know, a little bit shorter, shorter than a G2. Also very lightweight. So if you're sticking this in a pocket with this very nice pocket clip, uh, you're not going to have any problem with that at all. But also a perfect desk pen because it's not going to, it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Neat, right? Okay. See you on the next video. Peace out.